Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. This time we are going to try and build towards Heavy Heart. I want to try and see what we can do with that. I think it could be kind of fun. I think I'm going to go as, um, I don't know who I'm going to go as. I kind of was thinking hand, but I'm maybe thinking just like go like eyes or something right now. Yeah, just go as eyes. Why not? So we need to take our uh, crown of inversion. And we are going to be trying our best to go to the other area to get Heavy Heart and build towards it. If we don't manage to get into the mouth before it closes, I will just sort of restart and skip. Unfortunately, I didn't get a level up there, but oh well. Kind of nice having just a regular assault rifle. I feel like it's been a very, very long time since I've used a gun like this. Right, obviously, key key part to this is I do need to survive. Right, cool. Do that. I'm going to probably use the slugger here for this guy. Slugger seems decent. Do the golden weapons actually have increased stats? I know in the vanilla game they have slightly increased stats, but I don't know if they do on this. I will take the triple. Thank you. Okay, so. Boiling veins is one of the ones that we wanted. We'll take boiling veins. Um, let's go with Strong Spirit just for some survivability. This is a good weapon to have in this area. Lots of low health enemies spread apart a lot. This weapon, very bad for this area. Very single target. Get out of my face. Pretty good for this guy, though, to be fair. So many enemies. Oh, my God. Chill. Okay. We got him. That was kind of sketchy. Did we get an inverted area? Yes, we did. Okay. This, survive this inverted area is going to be a bit sketch as well, but we'll do our best. Okay, that, that went pretty well. Just to clear out pretty much the whole area there. Rope knife. Ooh, that's cool. I am very low on health right now, though. I'm a bit scared. I am very scared, in fact. Oh, we got him. Nice. This rope knife seems cool as well. This is cool. What a cool weapon. Right, grab that. Okay, so we take Heavy Heart to start with, then we take Open Mind next. Now we just gotta not die. Which, not going so well so far. Trying to use a melee to make it a little more, a little easier to survive, but I don't know. A double flame shotgun, yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Oh, goddamn. Okay, through here, and then we take Open Mind, wherever that is, there you go. And then maybe, hold up, maybe we change our crown at this point. Come through here, and we change to remove your secondary weapon, more chests, yes. Slightly less weapon drops, but more chests should just mean more weapon drops in, in general, right? Okay. How are we feeling about this? Oh, God. And I can suck the chests towards me as well, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Look at him go. Yeah. All the weapons there just killed him. <laughs> I'm liking this already. This is cool. Yeah, this is a good character to play. I didn't even think about it on purpose, like, picking this character. This is a really good character to do this with. Um, 
Yeah, let's go with Bloodlust, shall we? We need weapon drop on our as our weapon mod as well if we can get it. And like I can suck all the weapons. Like I I I kind of need um, better telekinesis as well actually, so I can like suck the weapons and carry them with me a little further. Yeah, better telekinesis would would go a long way here. I also need a, a stronger melee weapon as well. Like, this thing's doing okay, but I need something a bit more defensive. Offense is really good, but I don't think the defense is amazing. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is so good. This is such a fun build. Oh, there you go. Scythe. Scythe, 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 scythe. That's better. That's better. Right. Cool. Hey, there's better telekinesis. This is such an interesting build. I love it. It's not always going to be good on, like, the bosses and stuff, which is the main problem. Dude, look at the speed at which these chests get sucked towards me. What a great character to play here. I see a flail. Yeah, I want the flail. Get fucking destroyed, mate. <laughs> I'm a little worried about my damage output right now, though. Okay, we got him, we got him. This is awesome. I absolutely love this. Wait, what the fuck hurt me so bad then? Okay, I kind of need Gamma Guts right now. <laughs> oh, I am doing this again. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is such a good character for this as well, right? The hell do we want next? Um, yeah, there's Gamma Guts. I was just saying about having Gamma Guts. It's a shame the ones that go, that go through the portal don't follow the same path with us. It'd be so good if the ones that came through the portal also started firing. Because then we could just carry weapons with us through the portals and have them all firing off. I think better telekinesis is like a hard requirement of this though. on through with me. Give me that flail, baby. Oh, what the... Excuse me. Where's the weapon chests at? You're about to get fucking destroyed. <laughs> Does it only... F okay. Okay, I don't know how long it fires them for. Where's Heavy Heart? More weapon drops. Weapons fire at enemies. Are, um, okay, I don't know how long it fires them for. I wish it was a little bit longer, though. Oh my god, this is fucking chaos. Ooh, Flare Max. Flare Max seems like a good idea. Um, Flexible Elbow seems good. I'm gonna suck one of those fucking crystals into me, aren't I? Nah, the Flail's got more range, unfortunately. I needeth the Flail. Oh, wait. The flail's not here. Damn, it didn't get brought with me. Okay, I'm stuck with this then, I guess. Damn. Place Bell was a good one to grab the. Hello, bat. It's time to die. 
<laughs> oh my god. It's so good. This is such a good strategy. I love it. Definitely need a better melee weapon though. Thing is not quite cutting it. Especially not for this area. Super needle. Oh wait, dude. There you go. I didn't realize I had that on the floor. This thing, although not the best for destroying projectiles, does a lot of damage. Yeah, it'd be good if just weapons on the floor periodically um, shot rather than just like shooting for a little while and stopping. Make this build even better. I like it. Oh my god. That's why we have boiling veins. Okay, what we got going on here? Telekinesis pulls in enemies' projectiles towards your crosshair. Infinite telekinesis range. Strong projectile push. No, we want to soak things towards ourselves. That doesn't really work. Your active change is the void pull. Um, burst pull all enemies and enemy projectiles towards you. Create a void circle around yourself that consumes projectiles and deals damage. Hold your projectiles. Okay, that doesn't matter. We're not using active push. Uh, fully see in the dark. Some enemies attack each other. And telekinesis attracts... Um, through walls. There it is. Oh, wait, no, because... I don't know, is that going to work? I'm, I'm going to give that a go anyways. And see how that works. Because attracting weapons through walls isn't that good for us. Unless because we, like, we need the chests to open first. But it, it still kind of works. Attracting the HP through walls is good, though. Because we'd be holding a track, like, all the time, so... And we are getting weapons from killing enemies, so that kind of works. We need, like I said, we need weapon drop on this. Like, this has to be a build that people have thought of before, right? This isn't like the first, I'm not the first person to do this, surely. It's fun, I'll tell you that. I just wish it was slightly more viable. I wish, wish the weapons fired for a little longer. So far, I'm liking it. This is this is where I'm a bit worried. So basically, my thought process here is drag all of these chests. This is, this is all of them, yeah. Drag all of these chests close to the boss. To like the first generator sort of range. And then get on with this. There you go. That worked. That worked pretty well. Now, this next area is going to be tricky because there's not going to be any weapons on the floor unless I get some from killing these guys. Any new weapons on the floor, at least, yeah. This is going to be a bit tricky here. But luckily, I do have weapons that I can use on the floor. I'm stuck! Okay, we're all good. Make sure I'm holding the right weapon. Okay. Hello, hello. We got our secondary weapon already. As per, I guess I... I Random weapon mod is not a bad idea. Toggle curse me. Why would you want to do that? Okay, we'll go with that. Away we go. 
Now, there's more enemies as well, so 1% chance for an enemy to drop a weapon on kill. There's a lot more enemies to play around with here, so this should work even better. Right, I don't really know what's going on right now. Ooh, we got some sort of... What level's this? 12. Okay, I don't need the trident then. This is higher. Yeah, this is where it really pops off in the loop. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, if they fired on entering the next stage, it would be actually game over. What on earth is that? The Frostburn Axe. Damn. Kind of good. We got the Shanker. The, the Super Needle is just amazing. Where the, wherever it's fucking gone. I have absolutely no idea where it's gone. Oh, wait. I've, I've still got it. I've still got it in my inventory. That's where it's gone. Damn it. Give me weapon drop, you bitch. Uh, um, I guess put this in there. Cool. Probably should have put shotgun on it there, but well. Hello, you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. How have I not thought about this before? This ca I can't believe I picked this character as well. This was such a good character to pick. This is also a really good primary weapon to have. This weapon's doing a, a real good job right now. Not many other melees I can think would be that much better. Maybe a shadow melee might be better. Bullet shovel. Yeah, we don't want that, do we? There's a lot of prerequisites to make this work, but surprisingly I got them all on my first try and it's, it's come together to make this craziness. Right. Make sure we get out of the way of that. Okay. It's just all constantly just got like a ton of weapons following me. It's great. The lollipop. Is that going to be better? It's definitely a higher tier. I just need a, a, a little rebreathe so I can test it out. And I'm not going to get that, am I? Right, lollipop. Ah, it's, it, it, it's good, but it's just too slow. I need something fast. <laughs> I don't even know what weapons are in here anymore. I think the fact that obviously now we're getting such powerful weapons is really, really making it crazy. We're getting more weapons because of more enemies, and we're just getting better weapons on the floor to shoot. Just 
a little worried about my HP, but I, I, I seem to get it all back pretty quickly. Get off that little scooter, you. Get off that thing. This is this is a run that I'm gonna do like once a week. This, this is such a fun run, it's so random. It's gonna be so hard to make it work, but I think I just got super, super lucky this time around. So shame all the weapon chests spawn so far away. Oh bollocks. I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. That was close. Lovely ghost spear. This is tricky because ghost spear. Honestly, really good. But the fire rate on it scares me. I think I gotta stick with what I know. It also uses ammo too, which scares me more. Good, good, good. I don't even know which guns are the ones that came with me and which ones are the new ones. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh, man. That's one of my favorite runs I've ever done. It's just utter chaos all the time. Oh, fuck. This is bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was terrible. But there you go. That was probably one of the most fun runs I've ever done. I will definitely be doing that again. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.